on the bell, our timekeeper from Brandon and Suffolk, Mr. Brett Bowles, and at the sound of the bell, in charge of the action from Doddington, Kent, he is the referee, Mr. Ian John Lewis. And so, ladies and gentlemen, joining us on BT Sports, the officials are ready. The boxers are ready. Time to introduce the main event. Firstly, boxing out of the red corner, winning black with gold, official weight 18 stone 9 pounds, brings a 23 fight record, 20 wins, 13 inside the distance, only 3 defeats. The former German national and WBO European heavyweight champion from Munich, Germany, Michael Wally. And across the ring in the blue corner, winning black with purple trim. On the scales, 19 stone, four pounds. As an amateur boxer, European and Commonwealth gold medalist, the 2016 Rio Olympic super heavyweight silver medalist. Undefeated professional, 10 and 0 with nine KOs. Former WBA continental champion, former heavyweight champion of the Commonwealth from Botany, London, the juggernaut, Joe Joy. Boxes. Oh, I'm the referee. I spoke to you both in the dressing room. I obey my command at all times. You both know the rules. Watch the heads, pick the punches up. And I shout break, you break clean. And remember, defend yourself at all times. Shake hands. Ian John Lewis is not a small man. He looks a small man alongside Judge? these two giants Judge? of the ring. Judge? Michael Vallish. How hard is he going to be able to press Joe Joyce? Oh. Who is just raring to go. 35 years old in September, go, go. and he knows that he needs to move on quickly, go, Richie. Second bell. Yes, that's in his mind. Obviously, you can't take the eye off the ball, can you? In this game. It's going to be a big fight with Daniel Dubois. But he's got to get rid of this guy first. As you said, John, Valish, 18 stone on. 18-9. He landed all those shots like that one there. The right hand over the top. And you never know in this game. Well, he can bang a bit. As I said, there's another right hand from Valish, who's just had a bit of encouragement in the early seconds of this fight. But there's a relentlessness about Joyce. Well, there is John, but I mean, I've helped coach um, Joe Joyce for his Olympic cycle. And He's always a little bit vulnerable in the first couple of rounds, so he can walk onto the odd shot here and there. He's got to just maintain that gap and keep that jab going in. When he breaks his opponents down with that punch like that, then he gets the job done. But occasionally, he's over eager, he closes the gap down a little bit too much, and he is vulnerable in the early rounds for a right hand over the top. So he's just got to play it safe and keep jabbing away and break the opponent down. There's another right over the top from Vallis, who was stopped by Tony Yoka, the French Olympic champion in September in Nantes. Referee stopped the contest in the third round. Yoka, who beat Joyce, a little bit controversially in some people's eyes in that Olympic final in Rio. The fight you were there for, of course. Very, very lucky indeed. A couple more right hands from Valish finding the target. One thing Joe George does very well, he switches the attack from the head to the body, goes well with the jab and then switch downstairs with two hooks. Those are his favourite punches once he's closed that gap down. And again, he's took too many right hands here for me, but that's a good shot. That's better. Look, there's the switch of attack straight away. I'm sure Daniel Dubois sitting on the chair will be thinking if I hit him with a right hand like that, he's going to know about it. But Joyce takes it, he's still there. All his opponents, interestingly, as a professional, have had winning records, Joe Joyce, so he's not going to be a protected fighter. See again, big shots going in here, John. He wants that straight jab to the body from Joyce also. Isn't your on it, but there is. 
big, big man. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. 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 Let's go,
He says, I'm sure you heard it as the referee inquired. This is where you've got to keep your discipline. Don't give me the jab and then just pick your shots now. These opponents ready to go. Oh, just swing. Oh, good shot at the end of it. And it is. It's been stopped. Terrific headshot. And the referee saying it's enough is enough. And I think that's a, a correct stoppage from here, John Lewis. That was a really hurtful right hand. Right hand, and then he finished it off then with the left up to the body. So a good combination. Yeah, listen, he, he shook off the cobwebs there as the Joe Joyce got caught with a couple of shots. But let's, let's face it, he was pretty impressive there. Probably a little bit heavier than what he, he should be. But nevertheless, you can give credit where it's due. He's put in a good performance after a long layoff and he, he's destroyed his opponent there. Well, it's about getting the rust off, isn't it? He was said to us that he was just raring to go. He needed it. He had the fight against Dubois, planned, put back, planned, put back. You know, and he needed to get some competitive action. He needed a workout, didn't he? And he's just finished the job off. And look at him switch the attack there with that right uppercut again to the body. And another one. Switches to Southpaw here and just keeps on sustaining the pressure. The referee tells him to keep the punches up, but he just carries it on. And there's that left up that finishes the job off. Good performance from the juggernaut. And here we look again. And the referee was uh, the referee was looking to looking to find the end. That's the first knockdown. That single left up, wasn't it? Again, here's the, the here's the second knockdown. And look for the right to the jaw. There's a right hand, then the left up. Right. Push on the left up there. Look, that's the one, John. That was an absolute sickening shot. That left up to the body. The right hand was a, a cracking punch. But watch this. Right hand goes in. Watch this left up now underneath. Bang! Oh, that's a hurtful punch. Well, everybody will have their opinions. Everybody will be making up their minds. How good has he looked? How much has he shown? How impressive was he? Is he now in a stronger position for Daniel Dubois? Plenty of talking points, but first, here's Craig Stephen. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it takes great courage to step into a boxing ring, let alone when you are big guys like this. Before we declare the result, please, your appreciation for both our boxers. Brett Bowles records an official time, 57 seconds into round number three. Referee Ian John Lewis stops the contest. His opinion, Michael Vallis, no position to continue. Therefore, the winner, who is still undefeated, the juggernaut, Joe Joyce. Joe Joyce has completed his side of the deal, his side of the bargain. And there's the trademark celebration. It's 11 wins out of 11. Third round stoppage. Next stop, is it going to be Daniel Dubois? But Dubois as well, at the end of August, has also gone to emerge victorious.